Um, one thing I wanted to show you, I think I will show you this. Uh, I w we will continue working on the game. We will see where picking uh, happens. But uh, I think I covered what I wanted to say about picking. Let me recheck. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. I think I will. Um, if th there's some uh, other uh, sub subtleties I wanted to talk, but uh, it's uh, a bit harder to create an example for that. So uh, we will continue the game, and each time uh, we'll, uh, we will we uh, will see. Uh, some occasions where uh, picking happens uh, uh, differently, or uh, we want to make it happen differently, we will uh, retalk about picking. So let me check my uh, little plane. Okay, uh, we'll see about function variables. We'll see when we will need that. Basically, okay. Okay, I see. So I will save this part. I will, uh, as ever, you will be able to uh, to review it. Um, game, 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 game. I don't know where am I. Uh, class uh, game. Okay, yes. new folder example. Okay, uh, loops and picking. Okay. So I will close this project and I will reopen the the one we left uh, last time. C two game, C two clay class uh, game. Okay. Okay, so this one I will copy. <coughs> I will rename to. Okay, so we left here to uh, refresh our memory. I will. Okay, launch it again. So we have. I will change that. We have our little character jumping ar around in our uh, environment. It can work with the uh, checkpoints. Okay, and we can go to the end and to the second level. Okay, great. So, what do we need in our platformer now? Uh, the thing we usually have are pickups. I will uh, create a new sprite, a new object type to be precise, which use the sprite plugin. I will make it 32 by 32 and uh, a nice orange for our pickups. That's a pickup, I will rename it that way. And we'll spread some pick up, pick up uh, in the in our environment. You can use pickups to uh, guide your uh, your player where you want him him to uh, to go. That's something that is used like that. Okay. And what we want to do. Let's let's say there are coins for now. So we want to have a coin counter. I will throw that here, and my coin counter will be a text object. Okay. Okay. So coin counter. 
So everything is set up in our uh, environment, I think. And now it's the code. We will uh, create uh, a new group so we can uh, tell things apart uh, more easily and uh, collapse part of our, our event sheet. The coin group. Here we had uh, the dying group, maybe. We will see. For now, just for uh, visual uh, simpli simplification, I create a group coin. I don't want a variable, I want an event. And the simplest thing we can do with pickups is when you take a pickup, you destroy the pickup. So a player. Ah, yeah. I think I will talk about uh, these possible uses of collisions. Here, what we can use is either overlap a coin, destroy the coin, the coin, or you can do a on collision destroy the, co the coin. This is not the same thing. This is definitely not the same thing. And uh, sometimes using this one or this one is uh, the same. Works and react and everything is the same. But sometimes you will want to use that, sometimes you will want to use that. Okay, let's see how it works one by one first. So now I will do uh, on collision destroy. So okay, <laughs> first error. What did I do here? I let you answer this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> common mistake, common mistake. Uh, what? That, that's uh, exactly a uh, anime mecha, it's exactly that. Wrong layer. Yep, exactly. How do you solve that without having to go through each of your objects? The other way to um, select all objects of the same object type is to either go here or go here. If you click on the object, in the object panel or the project panel, you will select all of them. So then you just have to layer main. Simple. So here, that's better. We can dump them. So you can see the the um, ah, I don't see where I'm going with this thing. So yeah, you see um, the collision, the on collision event works nicely. There's no problem with the on collision event. What happens with the overlap event? Same thing. Works nicely. <laughs> uh, the above dark, that's another issue. Now, if I die, they go, they go back. I die, they go back. So, there's an issue here. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So here, what you can see is that the overlap and the on collision event works exactly the same for this example. But internally, they're not the same. Let's see if we can... <laughs> slow down, run down, slow down. Okay, so... Um, now I want to count my um, my coins, and I want to display the count, the count, 
the coins. Okay, so to keep the coin, the count, I will uh, not manage to do that. Uh, to keep the coin count, I will create a global variable. Here, something to keep in mind is that you can have a global variable with the same name as an object. That's a detail, but uh, it's uh, nice to uh, mention. Is it a good design or not? I don't know, but uh, you can. So each time you glomp a little coin, you can add one to uh, not checkpoint number, but coin counter. So let's see how it works with collision. So uh, I think there's the T shortcut. No, um, don't remember the chart. Anyway, uh, let's see the collision. Ah, I forgot to display the the um, the results on our counter. Set text to coin counter. Uh, I I didn't say it last time, but an empty event is the same as an every tick. You just have to uh, see condition as some kind of filter. Which, uh, as I said earlier, there are control flow events, and I forgot to. So it's a filter, it's another way to say the same thing. A condition is a filter, is a control flow mechanism, etc. Okay, so we have our coin system. We, we have zero coin. And here we clump two coin, we have two coins, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's working. We can do something a little bit better. Coins with a little space here. So zero coins, etc, etc, etc. So now let's try with the overlap condition. You will see where I'm going with that soon. So here it's work, it's working, and I'm dying awfully. It's working, so you see the problem with dying and uh, coin respawning. Now I'm, I'm I have eight coins, so the more I die, the more richer I get, which is kind of wrong. Okay. But there's a problem. I didn't uh, do this uh, all along just to show you that it's the same. It's not. But it's difficult to show you this problem, but I will. I will create this setup. I will lower the... Mm -hmm. I will lower the grid incrementation, so... Okay. What will happen here? What do you think will happen here? I will start the game, the player will fall, and will glump two coins. So, you expect to see the text box display two coins. That's when I... And it display wine coins. What happens? For now, we'll see what happened with the on collision event. Here it works. They aren't the same. They aren't the same because what happens with the overlap coin event? What happens is that at some point here you overlap these two objects and this event will become true. So you will, uh, you will, uh, the flow of your program will go this way, this way, this way, this way. This event will become true, 